interesting. So it sounds like you really had to kind of standardize, right? Um, as far as yep. like the user experience. And I'm sure that was quite challenging across, you know, multiple kind of categories, markets, um, you know, and uh, even kind of industries. So could you maybe share more about that and like your approach initially, you know, standardizing? Yeah. So the first attempt that we did in standardization was to assume that we need to bring all experiences to the same standard level. We realized in about a quarter that that doesn't make sense for us because at the end of the day, head out is providing real life experiences, but it's not the same industry. We're essentially sitting on top of a variety of different industries that are clubbed together. So the way that a museum works versus the way that a walking tour operates versus the way that a bus experience operates versus the way that an activity operates is not the same, right? And so we then sort of went back to the drawing board and created standards that we were ascribing to each specific category of experiences that we related to. And we said, this is the standard for this cohort of experiences and everybody needs to be able to match with this. For example, when it comes to a walking tour, we said that every walking tour and head out will have to be for at least 90 minutes. It will have to be uh, a walking tour where people have access to free Wi-Fi hotspots where the guide will be equipped to take professional photographs of the people who are actually in that tour. Uh, it will need to have availability for um, the next 24 hours at any point in time. And it will have to have guides which are trained and vetted by our experience team, right? So these were the basic standards that we sort of put in place on day one. And then we kept iterating and we kept adding to these list of standards that we had. Uh, so I think the challenge for us was realizing the fact that we're not operating in a singular industry, uh, but a collection of them. And then to be able to figure out what's the right standard for each one of them, I think was difficult. Having said all of this, we also realized that trying to be perfect on day one was, was a very difficult and probably a foolish thing to try. And so it was much better for us to sort of go with something that we felt was, was a decent base to start with. And then with managed right? You always have the ability to go back to your supply and tinker and tweak with it the way that you want. So the idea then was that, hey, listen, can we just have a really high velocity of iteration? And then we changed our process, our playbook to just allow us that, that high velocity of iteration, because it didn't matter what we define as standards today. We knew that we kept changing and evolving that as we sort of went along. And so then from there on, it was all about the operational playbooks and the technical integrations that we had between us and the supplier to be able to do whatever changes we want to do at any point in time.